A state district judge in Austin is deciding whether to expand her injunction to block more child abuse investigations against the parents of transgender children. Governor Abbott ordered child abuse investigators to pursue not just doctors and therapists, but also parents who obtain gender affirming treatments for their children. Alex Boyer is following and has been today's hearings. Alex. Hi guys, we've been able to watch those uh, proceedings via a live feed, but recording is not allowed. Now, according to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, there are nine open investigations as a result of the Attorney General's opinion. The mother of a 16-year-old transgender teen who is being investigated for providing those uh, gender-affirming care uh, was among those who testified today. The parents uh, of that teen are suing Governor Abbott. Inside a district courtroom in Austin Friday, Judge Amy Clark Meacham held a hearing on whether to prevent state officials from investigating reports of transgender youth receiving gender-confirming care as child abuse. Dale Carpenter is an SMU constitutional law professor not involved in this case. The argument that is being made by the ACLU and the advocates of these transgender youth and their families is that the governor exceeded his authority under state law. The lawsuit marked the first report of parents being investigated following Governor Abbott's directive and an earlier non-binding legal opinion by Republican Attorney General Ken Paxton labeling certain gender-confirming treatments as child abuse. Well, the state's case, I think, is that there's some uncertainty about the medical science, and at least they quote some authorities that say that some of this treatment is unnecessary and perhaps is in the long term not very beneficial and might be harmful to children. Last week, Judge Meacham blocked the state from investigating the parents of the 16-year-old transgender teen in this case. The judge is considering whether to expand the injunction with the Department of Family and Protective Services acknowledging a total of nine open investigations. Abbott's directive calls on child abuse investigators to pursue a range of alleged abuses from gender reassignment surgeries to puberty blocking treatments and hormone therapies. At Friday's hearing, a CPS supervisor testified she resigned after the governor's directive was announced. She said it was an overreach, placing the department in a position they shouldn't be in, determining that a doctor's medical advice or diagnosis is not correct regarding gender-affirming care. Transgender rights advocates held a rally in Austin as the hearing went on. Today, we uh, unfortunately have gathered here once again uh, as the witch hunt for parents of trans kids continues in the state. We're optimistic that the court today will continue to see the governor's action for what it is, a politically motivated opinion that is only going to pit the government against loving families. And the ACLU is also representing a clinical psychologist who says the governor's directive is forcing her to choose between reporting clients to the state or possibly uh, losing her license or facing other penalties. Uh, she testified today and said that reporting her transgender patients uh, goes against her ethics. Uh, closing arguments are underway right now. A judgment uh, could quickly follow. We'll keep you posted.